On a list of animals that attack humans, perhaps most unexpected is the deer. Hunter Lynn Chestnut and his wife encountered one near their home in Toledo, Washington. It come out with its head down and it stiffened out <laughs> like that, you know, and it charged me with its antlers. Chestnut tried to get away, but the deer kept charging. He walked like a bear up on his hind legs and with his old ears pinned back and the sucker pound me down into the ground. You don't think a little deer like that could have that much power. And there was no getting away from him. He was pretty insistent. To prepare for a strike, the deer lets out an aggressive grunt. Its hair stands on end and it gets into a slightly crouched position, flexing its legs. A male deer measures about six feet long and up to 200 pounds. It lunges with its antlers, using the powerful muscles in its neck to push its target off balance. Deer also use their hooves to strike, standing on their hind legs and pushing down with their full weight. It's enough to crush a person's bones. New York wildlife expert Dr. Ward Stone has witnessed a deer's strength firsthand. They have a lot of power and they can uh, even impale you, keep hitting you and actually tear right into your, your thorax or some other part of your body. Male deer, bucks, are particularly aggressive in the fall during mating season. It's called the rut. There's actually an enlargement of the muscles in the neck, which goes along with jousting with other deer. So they're stronger then and more difficult to, uh, to handle. But in this case, Lynn Chestnut invited the aggression. He said he wanted to make a video for his hunting buddies. His wife ran the camera. And to attract a bull elk, he sprayed himself with urine from a female elk. I do kind of overdo it, and you're not supposed to spray your body with it, you know, and, and it, it is pretty dangerous to do that because they get there and find out it's not what they expected, and it kind of ticks them off. <laughs> Lynn Chestnut was lucky. He walked away with minor injuries. In the spring, it's the female's turn to be aggressive. Fawning season, when a doe will fight hard to protect her new offspring. On the campus of Southern Illinois University Carbondale, more than a dozen people have been injured by female deer. Clay Nielsen is a wildlife ecologist at the university. Here on campus, we have thousands of students and recreational users of campus walking through the woods unknowingly close to deer and their fawns. The attacks look something like this, a rare incident caught on film, a doe chasing a seventh grade boy in Oregon. In most cases, does were coming out of the woods and using their hooves, backing up on their legs, and actually uh, hitting people with their front legs. Campus photographer Steve Buman witnessed several of the attacks. You don't realize how fast they can move until they, they're coming right at you. Deer can run up to 40 miles per hour and are capable of jumping up to 10 feet in the air. This kind of power is what caused the victim's injuries during the university attacks. The injuries range from minor bumps and bruises to one woman who actually had a broken clavicle. Late in 2006, a campus police officer shot a doe during an attack. Since then, there have been no reported incidents on campus. No one knows how many deer strikes there are each year in the United States. But as deer populations rise, researchers believe attacks are becoming more frequent. The reason we have more deer attacks on humans is because we've got record numbers of deer, record numbers of humans coming into contact, which increases the likelihood of these sorts of problems. As suburban sprawl spills into natural habitats, sometimes deer can get into trouble, even smashing through windows. That's how this deer ended up in a bank in Pittsburgh. Get fooled by uh, mirror-like images on glass. The deer runs up thinking it's just running into the woods. Luckily, no one was hurt. 
In another rare moment, a buck crashed through a window of a New Jersey school. Again, no one was injured. Deer are often seen as these docile creatures, but we have to remember that they are indeed wild, and we need to give them space and we need to give them respect.